Hi everyone, this is FaZe and welcome back to my channel. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you already know I love two things a lot. One is reading and the second is technology. And that's why I love my Kindle so much, because I get to read on such a portable, thin and light device wherever I go. But last October, I purchased the new 6th generation iPad mini, and I kid you not, it's become one of my favorite devices to read books on. In fact, I even did a video reviewing the iPad mini as an e-reader and my overall experience reading on it, while also comparing it to the Kindle. You can click on the link in this video or in the description below to check that video out. And ever since I posted that video, I've received tons of questions asking me for a follow-up on what my thoughts are a few months after purchasing that device. So in this video, I'm going to address those questions. First of all, I don't think any iPad would make for a great e-reader. It's this specific iPad mini 6 that I think is truly a game changer for reading books on. So in this video, I will go over five reasons why I believe the iPad mini 6 is the perfect e-reader for most people. Point number one, the portability factor. The most obvious reason the iPad mini 6 is excellent for reading is its compact size and lightweight design. The weight is probably the most crucial aspect. At just 0.65 pounds, it's slightly lighter than the previous generation iPad mini and much lighter than other iPad models. The weight is distributed evenly across the whole device, which means you can comfortably hold it for hours without your arm feeling like it's gonna fall off. And this is the perfect on-the-go device. It's small enough to keep on your nightstand or take on-the-go in a bag or even in your jacket pocket. That added portability alone makes it a better pick than any other iPad for reading, whether you wanna take it on your next flight or carry it daily on your commute. In fact, the size is pretty much the same as a paperback. Point number two, the display. Not only is the iPad mini 6 a joy to hold for extended periods due to its size and weight, but Apple has also managed to fit more screen into an overall smaller form factor. With a slightly taller display, you can get more text on the screen at once, which suits a text-first, task-like reading. But that's not the only reason the iPad mini 6 display is great for reading. It's also the highest resolution iPad display currently available. Plus, it maintains the 326 pixels per inch resolution of the iPad mini 5, despite the display growing to 8.3 inches from 7.9 inches. It's also a backlit display, unlike many other e-readers in the market. With True Tone, you even get a page that is easy on the eye, no matter your lighting conditions. Point number three, motivated reading. I don't know about you, but to form a habit, I need some sort of a reward. Something like a gold streak or a digital medal is more than enough to get me to change my behavior, which is why I like something like the Apple Watch, because it has these activity rings that keep motivating me. And just like the Apple Watch activity rings, Apple has done something similar, though a little basic, for reading. And that feature is called Reading Goals. Here you can set daily and yearly targets to encourage you to read more often. You might just put it at 10 minutes per day, but keeping that daily streak going is pretty motivating and adding books to your list of finished titles feels like a real achievement. Of course, this feature can be improved upon. And there are other goal-based systems on Kindles and Kobos, but it's a nice to have feature for the iPad mini 6. Point number four, focus. Introduced in iPadOS 15, the new focus modes are like do not disturb, but on steroids, which is excellent for blocking out distractions when you wanna focus on your current book. Better yet, focus allows you to set a particular focus based on what app you are currently using. That means as soon as you open the books or the Kindle app, you can have the system automatically turn off all the notifications that you receive or any alerts that you don't want to see. Now, many fans of dedicated e-readers like to talk about the nature of just doing one task on, let's say a Kindle, which is just to read. In fact, they call that as a real plus point since it removes any opportunity to be distracted. And I agree, but if used correctly, I do think a focus mode serves just as well for this purpose and even goes one step further by syncing your notification settings across all your Apple devices. Just because you don't have a Kindle or a Kobo in hand doesn't mean your phone or your smartwatch cannot ping you. With focus, you can achieve notification-free Zen status everywhere with just one tap. Point number five, more than just books. Even though focus can lock down your iPad to offer a dedicated reading experience, at the end of the day, you still have a fully featured tablet. As well as reading words on a page, 
you can use your iPad mini's liquid retina display to read other visual media like magazines, comic books, your favorite websites, newsletters, emails, and much more. While I agree that I still prefer e-ink because not only is it fun to read on, but it's also great for battery life, it's also not great for scrolling or displaying much other than just text. The iPad mini's multi-touch LED display on the other hand can pretty much do it all. Plus, when you're done reading, you can kick back with a movie, enjoy a podcast, play some games, or just browse through the internet or get some work done. Though it's a smaller iPad, it can do anything its larger iPad siblings can. So for many folks who don't want an iPad and a Kindle, they can have one device, the iPad mini, that is the best of both worlds. It's a great e-reader and also a great all-in-one tablet device. So in conclusion, if you already own an iPad mini, or you're considering one for digital reading, now is a great time to actually buy one. For me, being able to take the iPad mini 6 wherever I go and just read books on it has improved my reading habit and I've realized I've ended up reading more. And plus, when I go to a coffee shop, I don't have to take my iPad Pro and my Kindle with me. I can just take this device with me and it does literally everything. I can get some work done on it, plus I can read books when I'm free. So for me, this device makes it a real winner. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, but as always, I love hearing your thoughts. So comment below and let me know, and as always, I will try to answer all of your questions. Till then, see you next time.